we rolling. Hey guys, we just spent an eleven thousand dollars. I need to add up the total, but I'll tell you the prices. You guys can add it up in your head. Uh, we spent eleven thousand dollars on football cards for the store because literally, Cheryl, every day people come in, right? Absolutely. They ask us all the time for football, baseball, and basketball. And we're gonna add more inventory as stuff sells, which is kind of mess around. Uh, I bought at different sources. So one source I don't want to say because it's a really good source that I find stuff. But I network with other dealers, with other people. I just send a message say, hey, do you have anything that you need to move? Do you need cash? I talk to people in chat groups. Uh, be careful with Facebook. Make sure you do it to reputable dealers. Like most of the people I deal with have stores that are well known on Instagram and stuff like this. I also got a shipment coming from Panini Direct, which that's going to be a really good investment. Um, this video, I'm going to shoot it over two or three days because every day I got shipments coming in and I'm just excited. I want to open it up and I want to start putting it out. We won't advertise until everything is here. But I'm going to show you. I'm going to tell you how much I paid for it, how much I'm going to retail it for, and uh, what it is. You know, Because sports cards, if you're following sports cards, if you're not up to date with it, the last year, the stuff is just going through the roof. I mean, like stuff that's been like two, three hundred bucks is a thousand bucks now on certain things. Boxes are crazy. New releases from Panini are like sometimes a thousand bucks a box for seven cards. So sports card is definitely interesting. I think these two is a little bit better product. I, I'm not exactly sure what's in here, but I think that's better product. The Panini stuff will come tomorrow. So the first thing we're going to start with is this is my cheapest product that I spent. But this is something like I bought this more for the store. This will sell every day. Like I'll never put these online. And also, you know, it's really rough. Like, I, I mean, most areas right now. God, broken plate. Um, most areas right now, like here in San Diego, you cannot find cards at any Target, any Walmart. As soon as they come in, all these guys that flip them, they sell them. Now, and I don't go to Targets and try to get them and then flip them. I just, I just don't do that. Okay, we don't want to show this receipt because, um, cool, good guy. I know this is a younger guy right here, very professional, I like it. Except he uses packaging, he uses paperwork, but okay, it's cool. We'll respect it. So this is our common product. We have 72 boxes. And then we're going to have to take quick inventory to share, okay? All right. Can you have a three for another? Huh? 11,000? It's an investment. 11,000. Unless the whole hook cards. So we bought 20, uh, 72 boxes. You guys can see this whole box is full right here. And that's all the way. Oops. That one stanked. We'll open that one. Just hey, don't. should we open up a pack on camera just for we fun? We should open a pack. I mean, yes. we don't have the right sleeves here and hands and stuff like this. But this is 2020. Here, we'll do this pack because we dropped it. So in case there's anything. But we have 72 boxes of this. We're going to count these in a second. Um, these normally, if you go to Walmart, they should sell for $9.99. It's called a hanger pack. It has 60 cards in there. You have rookies in there. You're looking for obviously Joe, Bur Joe Burrow, right? Justin Herbert, which I started, is doing incredible. And then hopefully Tua, which I'm a Miami fan, so hopefully he'll do good too. This has special edition signature green cards. I've seen a few people break these online, and they actually do good. So for these, we pay $13 a box. So somebody bought it at 10 or he got it from the factory directly. Um, they're short print, ultra rare short printed rookies. Um, and like I said, I'm going to open one just in a second, just for fun. I paid 13 bucks a box. That's including shipping, including everything, taxes. I mean, I didn't have to pay taxes. I got resell. I'm going to put these out of my store. So you can find these on eBay. They're up there sometimes for 20 bucks with free shipping. They usually sell pretty fast. There's another guy that has a large inventory. He sells them for 35 bucks with free shipping. I'm going to put these in my store. I'm pretty much right in the middle, actually less than the middle. We're going to do $24.99. So I almost double my money in the product. But also, this product is super low risk because um, it's only 13 bucks. So even if sports cards were to collapse, kids are still gonna come in and pay $14.99 for this or 10 bucks, so there's no risk to it. Let's see what's in here. We're gonna do the bigger one first. Actually, let me just move this box, so it's not in our way. And then the last two boxes we're gonna open, which I'll hopefully open up tomorrow and the next day. One is directly from Panini. I spent $5,000 on that box alone. And I got another box I spent $3,800 with a guy. So these are some of the cheaper products right now, so make sure to watch the entire video. Okay, I think I know what this is. Actually, if this is this, I don't know what this box is. Well, look. Mm -hmm. this, this box over here could be, uh, it could be that it's nothing with sports cards. So we'll leave this down. Let me put my mask on so some people are walking Ooh, in. Me too. Mm. Do you think have any canteens? 
Uh, right behind you, Renee. <laughs> There's canteens in there. We do? Okay. Yeah, there's a couple of army ones. I have some military canteens yeah. right down here. Oh, he does? Yeah. Okay, so we're going to do this in mass. So I know what this product is. Keep the people off camera. So I bought these right here. These are Prism 2015 football. What? Uh, these. Look at this one, Jim. I think these are the hobby boxes. They feel like they're jumbo, but these are hobby boxes. I paid 160 bucks a piece, including shipping and everything. Um, that's not huge profit on these, but like all the Prism stuff is basically sold out everywhere. You cannot get any years in it. I'll put, if this is the hobby box, I will put these. Uh, if this is the hobby box, I will put this in. Um, I'm smiling right now. Guys. If this is the hobby box, I'll probably put these in my store for about 200 bucks a piece. I'll make 40 bucks a box. Wow. Not huge profits, but the reason I showed the reason I have this stuff is because uh, when people come in and you have it available, they like you store, they know they can find cool items, and it's just good for the business. You know, and then they buy other stuff. So you know, maybe they'll pick up these two boxes and they'll get a few of these because they're cheap, mm -hmm. and those will actually double my money. Mm. Now, yes, because I thought this was four boxes and this is two. You want to come? I have to see what this is. This could actually be completely different. But over here. Uh, so we'll see. Do you want to move over here? Huh? Do you want to move over here? That's okay. That's <laughs> okay. Oh, never mind. This is an order for Casey. I'll show you what she got. Never mind. This is just a flat Amazon. I, I don't know where it shipped here. That's weird. <laughs> the wrong address. Oh, no, I know where it shipped. I got her pumpkin spice because she makes the whole house smell like Thanksgiving. Mm, yummy. And then oh, good. apple cinnamon. Oh, yummy. So this is Casey. So this is her stuff. Uh, tomorrow will be some more boxes. Oh, you know what? We're going to break one. Oh, that's right. Yeah, that's make videos of how I decorate my house. <laughs> okay, so guys, normally... Normally you wouldn't do it like this. Because, you know, we're sweaty, our hands are dirty. We're probably going to pull a pillow card. Actually, you know what? Let's pause it for a second. Yeah, we got Do we those. have gloves? Yeah, we do. Under the chair, yeah. the safe box. Yeah. Okay, we br Okay, pause it for a second. Let me get some gloves. Okay, guys, I got the mask down here just in case somebody walks in. But it's, I feel stupid filming with a mask on. Um, we're going to break a box for you. Casey just said, yes, you should break one on the camera just for you guys to enjoy. I put on some gloves so we clean. Uh, I mean, I don't have sleeves here and stuff like this, so I'm sure we're probably gonna find a killer Joe Burrow one of one rookie out of sign card. I have nothing here to protect it. Um, I told Casey, he's like, yeah, we should break some $500, $600 boxes too that I got coming. She's like, oh, I don't know about that. Mm -hmm. And it all depends if we score or not. So, but let's break it. This is actually good. What we wanna find is obviously rookie extra points, signature green, that's the rarest one. Ultra rare rookie, short print. These will be for sale in our store for 25 bucks. If you ever go to Target or Walmart and you see any of these, and like I know a lot of people are gonna get mad, this blade is broken. A lot of people are gonna get mad. If you see these anywhere for 10 bucks hanging, just buy them all. How many is in a pack? 60 carts. All right. And I've never broken this box, so let's see. So guys, don't judge me if this is not perfectly fine. Um, wipe the sweat off. I'm just doing this just for you, so. All right. I hate it that they pack this way, but Ryan Tannehill, Miami traded them away. Mm. Now he's of course doing pretty good. What? You didn't open the $500 pack, did you? Nope, just the $500 one's not here yet. <laughs> he's oh, only 13 okay. bucks. See, I'm learning just as you guys are learning. <laughs> you know, Renee just tells me, I spent a bunch of money, you're gonna hate me. I, I never said it, I said invest it. Here, come here, we'll look around together. <laughs> See how he spends that? So all you men, learn what you tell your wives, that you tell them, I invested, not Whoop, I spent. Oh. Yeah, so Sh Cheryl is a huge Aaron Rodgers fan, so yeah, we're going to yeah. give this to her. Oh, Aww. yes. Thank you. <laughs> so really what we look, I mean, these cards are nothing. We're looking for the rookies. We're looking for the insets, which are probably in the bottom. But we're just showing you guys what's in here. Sony Michelle. If there's any two or oh, Patrick Mahomes, we'll put him aside. We'll oh. put him in the sleep. I mean, it's probably not going to be worth nothing because it's just a base card. But I'll, I'll get four or five bucks in my store. Well, every which way. It's kind of weird. Yeah, you know what? Next little kid that comes in, we're just gonna give it to Dean. Make that day, get him started in the hobby. All right. Cortland Sutton. I had him in my fantasy league. Was my number third round pick, my first receiver. Pick Travis Kelsey and um, Seek ahead of him. Of course, he's hurt. Ugh. Didn't play a minute. 
And let's get to the special stuff. Come on, where's the rookies? So this is all regular stuff. Russell Will, Deshaun Watson. Okay, so I mean, wait, my, we should get to the inserts here in a second. Okay, I see a blue card. We just want Joe Burrs. On a roll. Ooh. Oh, that's actually a great card. Well, it's not his rookie. I forgot this is, but it's out of two ninety nine. Kyla Murray. It's one Murray. Of those iridescent fronts. <laughs> it's hard to see. Tony Jones Jr. So I don't know who that is. Mm -hmm. That's that's nothing. Prestige. It's number to two ninety nine, but that's nothing. Powerhouse. Um, Saquon Barkley. His career is gonna be pretty much over a minute here. <laughs> Philip Rivers. Wow, they still. This is kind of messed up. Oh, Mexico game. But the, so it has to date and still having a Chargers uniform, obviously. Oh, here's a good one. Inside the numbers, Patrick Mahomes. Mm -hmm. Nice. I don't think he's a number, though. Nope. But still a great card. I will sell good. Got a Murray and Mahomes. Should I quit Barrett? I don't know who that is. Youth movement. Kind of hard to see those. Jerry Judy. That's a rookie. So he's doing really well. Receivers don't become as valuable most of the time, but that's a great rookie card. We'll put that aside. Anton Winfield Jr., rookie. Not in professional uniform. Actually, the Judy's not professional either. I don't like that. <laughs> Dalton Keene, rookie. Don't know him. LaMichael Perrine, don't know him. And then Jalen Hurts, rookie. Let's see. So, this box, unfortunately, we didn't get a signature card. But like I said, you get a lot of cards for 25 bucks. It's a good value. We got two Patrick Mahomes in it, which is nice. So, We'll count these, we'll put these up, and then we're gonna continue the video with some of the expensive stuff. So that's just to get the party started. But from a business point of view, I'd much rather buy these for 13 and sell them for 25 than buying boxes for 500 and sell them for 700. But these will be at the store. If you're in the area, come down, get some, 25 bucks a box. Just a quick update right here. So these are the 72 boxes. See this stack six high. You guys can do a count. Cause you know, if you don't show it all, you get all the idiots saying, well, it's not real. You really didn't buy it. We only saw four boxes. So, and that's the one plus the one we opened. This is still a sealed one. Hey, guys. Second part of the video. We got another shipment of cards in. Plus, later on in the video, I'm going to show you. I got a very special package from Germany. Um, they have cards, too. They're old vintage cards. I think some of the stuff is back from the th 30s. I ordered a couple of different people, so I don't know. But we'll see. We'll check it out. Nana's with me. I, I don't know what is what. I think this is Panini. Let me see. Oh, yeah. This is Panini and this is Panini. Okay, I guess we can open this first. Panini sounds good right now. Panini cards, not Panini sandwich. Uh, we've been working hard. We're hungry. It's lunchtime. So. Wait, so this is all cards? This is all cards, yeah. <laughs> How much did you spend? So on these cards right here, we spend... Uh, wow, these boxes are small. So you get seven cards on this thing. It's Panini Origins. And these are first in the line right here. If you guys ever see that first in the line. You can only buy these online. They come online before they were bought. Um, there's four boxes in here or six boxes. Wow, these are tiny. Let's make sure we have everything. How much do you spend on that tiny? So this box, I paid two eighty five dollars a piece. Whoa, yeah, that is tiny. But there's some really, really good cards in here. And there's like good patch cards. Um, it's okay, it's endless. Patch uh, or batch? Patch, patch, batch cards. Ba patch, like a patch, a shoulder patch oh. from the jerseys. And obviously, th these are this year's cards. You got Joe, uh, Joe Burrow rookies, Justin Herbert, the two are rookies. Uh, here's the second box I'm gonna show you. So I got 16 boxes of these. I paid 285 a box. So these two little boxes, I think it was like $4,800. Unfortunately, I have to pay sales tax to even though I got a resale license on Panini. Um, we'll, we'll have these in the store for 400 bucks. And a lot of times you buy these, and there's a lot of people that buy these on Panini. You can only buy these on a website. And as soon as they buy them, they try to flip them on eBay for like 40, 50 bucks more. They sell out right away, and then the prices just start going up. Like, if Tua starts playing, and he does good, just like Herbert and Burroughs is doing, then uh, these boxes will be six, $700 boxes. I don't know why they didn't just ship them all at once, but okay. Because there were two orders, but I guess they didn't package them together. So, but here you see, this was like a whole case, basically, and... Um, yeah, seven cards. Maybe we'll do a video. We'll open some. Let me know, guys, if you guys want me to do a box break where I sell slots for each team. I don't know. It's not really what we do, but it's kind of fun. Okay, so that was from Panini Directly. I just got another shipment from Panini. I bought 14, oh no, about 12 boxes. Uh, hold on, is this the one we want to open? Okay, yeah. 
So this one is exciting too. This I paid a lot too. I bought 12 boxes from Panini and there's Sinith Football 2020. Uh, I won't get these in time for this video, but uh, for those that paid $185 a box, there'll be $300 in our store. Uh, online pretty much is selling for $350. Unless they go up. I mean, guys, when you hear me say these prices, those prices change every day as fast as they sell out. So by the time you come here, there might be more, but that's the plan to go around $300. Okay, this is gonna get messy. We got popcorns. Nana's helping. She's like, Daddy, I wanna be on the video. I wanna see what the German carts are. Yeah. How come you don't have a Team Bargain Hunter shirt on? I don't know if this is stupid or not, but are the cards in German? <laughs> or is it just true? Okay, well, rule number one in life there's never such a thing as a stupid question. The only thing that is stupid if you don't ask a question. My dad has made us seem like I've asked stupid questions. Well, you asked some stupid questions, but there's no such thing as a stupid question. You know what I mean? Nobody's ever gonna judge you. I asked him if the Titanic Actually, was real or not, and then he was like, totally like, are you kidding? She was shocked when we said it was. No, that's clear. The movie. She, you mean the movie. You just... She you, asked me if the love story in the Titanic was real with yeah, Jack and Rose. Yeah, you need to clarify because you just so ate Jack yourself. So Jack and Rose actually were passengers on the Titanic. The author just took their names and was like, oh yeah, they fell in love. <laughs> so Which here, that part, Renee and I didn't know. I thought it was true. So here's some more Tatiana's favorite set, 2015 Prisms. No, it's in English, see? Doesn't have the German course. Auto oh. <laughs> Sorry. I love it. We sure she's mine. I mean, we're 100% on that, yeah? <laughs> I thought these were she the looks just like you. special ones. So these are two jumbo boxes. So same thing as before. We bought this at the same time as early in the video. You saw the other ones. I paid 160 a piece for these. And then I bought these right here. Same thing. We paid 160 But these are the hobby boxes. Let's see what's the difference. Four cards per pack, 20 packs per box. And this is 12 packs per box, 12 cards per pack. But actually, so because they're different type of boxes, there'll be like different hits in there and stuff like this. This has two autographs per box. Mm -hmm. This has four autographs per box. So technically, this should be more expensive. I'll put these out at $199. I might have to put these up to $225 and then do these at $199. That's great. Wow. That's great. We might open one of these. These don't have great rookie quarterbacks, but... So, I mean, it's a nice set, and also what's really nice about that 2015, it's the very first year that Prism actually came out. Are you getting ready for the German stuff? Oh, that's the German stuff? No, that little I have to know. Gonna... So this right here, we bought from another dealer. Also, these we bought from another dealer too. So like I tell you guys in the videos, just to talk to people, reach out. Um, there's always deals out there. So these right here, why wow, is small too? Okay, there's two boxes in here. So he got this directly from Panini. And then here's this. I think about eight boxes of these. And I don't know if these were like small card boxes. I think these are like pack boxes. So these sets, like a lot of people are starting to say they're better than uh, Prism or right up there with Prism. They're current football. <clears throat> NFL trading card. These are uh, oh, right here. 2020 No Huddle Mosaic. These have in them, um, I have to check, sorry, I can't remember all this stuff. There's 18 packs per box, eight cards per box. Each box is one auto guaranteed. Actually, it's one auto on average, so it's not even guaranteed. There are also three silver and 10 no huddle parallels, which are mosaic, which is great. And then also five inserts and rookie variation no huddle, which you could only get in a no huddle. There's also some uh, patch cards in here, which you can only get in a no huddle. There's a whole bunch of stuff in no huddle. I bought it, these, I've got eight boxes. I'm gonna show you these right now. We're gonna repack some of this stuff, Nana. Do they but, still have bubble gum in them? No. <laughs> these, be, be real careful with them. So these are all made for bubble And I'm showing what's in there because, you know, if I don't show it, then people, they obviously say, well, Renee said he bought eight boxes, but he's only showing five, so he must be a liar. So here, this is all the same obviously. box. Huh? Obviously. I know, it's so funny. People always think, like, I, I have nothing else to do in life than make up stories. So right now we have six. Seven. Seven. You can take off your mask, too. Eight. Okay. There you go. So we got eight boxes. Casey, do you know how much I paid for these? I don't know. Two hundred dollars. Two eighty. No, is that the one? No, well, that was last night. You snapped them up. Is yeah, last night I got them for one eighty-five. No, um, the the Sinitha paid one eighty-five. So these I didn't buy in Panini directly. I got these from another dealer, and I just wanted to flip them quick. The dealer probably paid wholesale two or three hundred dollars. He flipped these to me. He's a breaker, but he got a lot of them, so he wanted to recoup some money. He sold me these for four seventy-five a box. 
Uh, what well, are we selling on it? Uh, probably six or six fifty. Wow. I think at Steel City Collectibles right now they're six fifty nine. They're selling everywhere. There's a lot of boxes. So the key is come down to Bargain Hunters as soon as possible and come by and before the price keeps on going up. Wait, six hundred and fifty nine dollars or sixty five dollars ninety nine? Well, we paid four hundred seventy five dollars. So what would you guess? Four hundred. Hold on, I gotta write this out. Private school education, folks. <laughs> Okay, so it's gonna be six five fifty. Pull your math. Yeah, six, yeah, it's gonna be six fifty, just in case anybody walks in. I know. No, I just meant a little bit. So, more. and I'm not sure how well these will sell in the store because the high ticket prices we always yeah, advertise them. If not, we'll just put them online. I mean, they're selling really good online, and because these are pretty much right there with Prism, those are probably some of the two best sets. And then some people say Optic, um, and these cards are beautiful. And there's also again, you got the Joe Burrow rookies, you got the Tua rookies, you got the Herbert rookies. You even got in Green Bay, you got the Justin Love rookies, which we won't see him play for a year or two. But that same thing happened to Patrick Mahomes. He didn't play at all, so nobody, like, remember I found all those Mahomes rookies because nobody cared. And then all of a sudden he came, he did really well. And so. just so you guys know, some right before Renee came in, these um, this really nice couple just came in and bought two um, boxes already. Yeah, they bought the, um, what are they called? I think the, the, the ones we put out for 25 bucks. So I showed it yeah, earlier. Yeah, they video. saw it on the YouTube channel and came down this morning. I must have put the video. But with those, I mean, those are 25. Those will sell really fast because they're always affordable. And that's actually a great value for 25 bucks. So this came from Germany? This came from Germany. Let's make sure Germany is. Just like you. Actually, no, this is from Britain. Aww. This is different. <laughs> oh, you know what? These are not my cool German cards. Oh, this is from Britain. I forgot what I bought there. Okay, no wonder they had the Queen's uh, things on, because I was like, why would they put that? Yeah, no, they actually, this is, from, this is from Britain. I, so I, these might not be soccer cards then. Oh, it's soccer cards? Yeah, but not these. Actually, I remember what this is now. I only bought it because it was so cheap. But it's vintage soccer, so it's yeah. exciting. So if that's in a future oh, yeah. video, look forward to that. So these are Victoria Raynant and Noise cards. Ah, oh, man, let me see if they put the listings. I forgot. I, I just... remember these. They're like storytelling ones. Yeah, So, but I only paid like um, $10 for the lot. That's like 100 cards. There's like 189 Let me see what it was. I don't want to handle them too much. They're like really old. They're like pre-World War II. Wow, they're just paper thin. Card number 140. Um, I don't know if the date is on here. Here, show a couple, but handle these really, really careful. English? Oh, you got my phone. I was going to look it up on my phone. So I'll, po I'll put in the video, I'll pop up the date of these. But look how beautiful and nice conditioner. I'm going to, I might just send these in to get graded just because they're cool, so. Is that in English? No, that's French. So these Biscuits? were, uh, yeah, I believe these were made in England and uh, not uh, in Belgium, if I remember right. But like I said, about like a hundred some cards for ten bucks. I thought hey, that'd be kind of cool. Actually, I thought they might be a little bit thicker, thicker stock, but they're kind of paper. But they're just kind of cool. You know, we'll put these in sleeves and holders. We'll sell these. So it's one thirty nine. So then, then there will be like an order. You know. Yeah, they were in order. I'm sure we messed it up now, but it doesn't matter. So those are actually, guys, I'm sorry, but you know what? I'll open my boxes with you. I got a whole bunch of really good German soccer cards coming, stuffed back from the 30s, and I thought that was it, but it's not. So you have to watch a future video. We'll have more stuff coming. I'll do a video in the Sineath and the German cards when they come. You ready? Yeah. Hey, guys, we just got some more cards. Check it out. I got Mosaic. These will be in the store right away. Mosaic plaster boxes. So I just picked these up. A friend of mine found all these in Walmart at Hemet. Uh, he paid 20 for those. I paid him 40. They're going to be in the store at 59.99. We got hanger boxes. He paid 10. I gave him 25 bucks a piece. These will be in the store at 39.99. Um, these right here, he just gave me a cost because I wasn't crazy about them. So they're like 20 bucks at Walmart if you can find them. I'm going to probably put like 29.99 on these. And I'm not sure about these right here. I think these are probably going to be 20, maybe 15. I got to see what the going rate is on those. And then um, we got some of the jumbo fat packs kind of fun so all that stuff just came in the store we got 10 boxes of these 15 boxes of that more cool stuff for the store we're gonna price it right now and put it out make sure to come in and get your cards